Hey, I am here with the bright and sunny St. John's Wort on the solstice, which is a lot of people's favorite time to harvest this herb because in a lot of places, it's when it really starts to bloom big and beautiful like this with these sunny yellow flowers that are said to, and I believe really hold the energy of the sunshine. And I think that's part of what them being utilized for depression is about too because it helps us to keep a sunny attitude and it has a lot of contraindications with medication so do your research before you take it but you can harvest this from somewhere clean or grow it yourself and make a tea or a tincture out of it it's also great in an oil and you could harvest these flowers and all of the above ground parts, let the flowers wilt overnight and then infuse them into oil and it will turn a beautiful red color because of the hypericin, one of the phytochemicals in there. So that oil is really awesome for nerve pain. So it's a great one to have around and since it doesn't have a super long flowering time, harvest it when you see the flowers and then either dry it make the tincture or make the oil. There are different species of St. John's wort, so the way we know whether it's medicinal or not is two main things. So if we look at the leaves and they have tiny black dots on them, especially when you hold them up to the sunlight, that's one way. And often, um, the flowers will have little black dots on the petals as well. But then another way is if you take these buds and you roll them between your fingers, you'll notice there will be a red stain on your fingers from the juice that comes out of there. So you want both of those things, the dots and the red stain to know that you have St. John's wort. This is a great herb. So check it out. Always use 100% positive identification and happy wildcrafting.